you guys were out there playing, you know, full court. You got the tempo, the, the shooting, quick pace. I love it. Love the quick pace. You saw a little bit of a difference in our speed. So I'm, uh, I'm really pleased at the way we're trying to get the ball up and down. Coach, uh, talk about the growth offensively of Dante Hall. He seems to be playing with a lot of confidence. I think. You, yeah, you can see it. I think a lot of it's just maturity. You know, a lot of times these guys come to college and they're 17 or 18 years old, but. And if you're from a, maybe a small town and you haven't experienced any of this, it's an adjustment period. But uh, he's ready to take that next step forward. You know, he's not, Jimmy Taylor's not here anymore. We, we need him to play like a starter and um, play consistent. So you saw him with an improved jump hook, making his free throws, all of the things that we've been working on and watching video and trying to help him get better, you know, through our entire evaluation process. With that in mind, we saw uh, Dante and, and Daniel working together a little bit. What do you like about that combination? I, I just think it uh, gives us a lot of size and muscle up front. You know, obviously, Bowler did a great job for us, but struggled a lot to score inside because he's only 6'5". You know, Daniel's 6'9", 6'10". So we hope to get that same rebounding uh, that and with more shot blocking and with Daniel being able to finish inside when we slide him over to the four position. What do you Unfortunately, think? Um, for us, we can play big, we can play small. I can play reset four, I can play reset five. You know, last year we had problems in, in our NIT game because they had a, a three-point shooting five. You don't see that much. So we think we have a lot more flexibility than, than we've had in year one and two. Well, Coach, better offensively. Much better. Much better. Yeah, much better. But the spacing is better when you got guys who can shoot. I won't call them shooters. We hopefully don't have makers to shoot. Because I, and my coaches evaluate kids, they'll say, this guy is a shooter, but I never see the ball going. I want guys that are makers. And hopefully, uh, with them making shots, our spacing will become better and, and our guards can get inside the defense and create that. Yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, I was just going to say, what do you think the crowd appreciated the most? I, I, well, first of all, I appreciate the crowd. This was unbelievable. The energy, I didn't really have any expectations in terms of the size of the crowd. I was just hoping a few people would show up, you know, on a Wednesday night in Tuscaloosa. But based on what my staff said, it was over 2,000 uh, fans, and they were into it. They were energetic. And we understand that our home court here at Coleman hasn't been what it should be. We got, we got to protect our home court, and our crowds are thirsty for a successful basketball team and a, and a team that can take that next step. So, first of all, I thought the crowd was great, and I'm hoping that they saw a brand of basketball that'll bring them back to Coleman and, and that they'll bring some of their friends out to see us. If was a freshman out there, what you, would you think about Colin uh, yeah. taking charge? Solid. I, all of them are, are, you know, have their own strengths and weaknesses, and you saw a lot of what they can do and why we were, you know, after these guys uh, in, in recruiting. We wanted them here at the university. Herb Jones is a versatile wing player and shoot the three, can pass it. Galen is muscle inside. He was 219 pounds, now he's 232. Reese can shoot the three, he can pass, he can post. Um, you saw Petty shoot the lights out of the ball, he can pass. Colin, you know, do everything, pass, dribble, and shoot. And it's just, um, that's what we need. And the teams that we're chasing, they're freshmen are really high level players. And they come in the door. What did you learn about your team so far? Foot speed, we're pretty fast. Uh, we we can score. Uh, you know, I always talked about scoring in the first five or seven seconds. That was like a little bit of a dream the first two years. It might become reality this year. It'd be nice to see. So I like our foot speed and wing speed, and uh, because the more easy baskets you can get before the defense sets up, and then hopefully we'll be a better executing team. You saw me talking to them about executing. Then. Your balance. You can score early, you can score in the medium part of the game, or you can score late. There may be situations with three seconds on the shot clock or five. We don't we don't want a shot clock to get that low, but then we have guys that we think can create their own shot. And and not one guy. Retno Basahan in you know, my first year probably was the only guy that can do that, right? Now we think we have more guys that can help us at the end of the shot clock. But it's an ongoing process. We're not finished. I know there are different levels of expectations for this team. We embrace it. 
right? We, but at the same time, we have a lot of work to do. Practice habits, knowing how to watch video, and take what you've seen on the video and implement it in the next practice, in the next game. We have a lot of work to do. There are a lot of teams that can't wait to play against us. So we, we, we gotta be ready, but um, it's, it's, a, it's a process. Isn't that the word here on campus? You guys like that word, you tweet, tweet about it every day and talk about it. It's a process. I know it sounds like a new word, but we talk about process also. All right, thank, thank you.